All right, a second slide of relationships. As usual, you first look at the whole molecule to see if they're connected the same. So I have, um, this is a 2-pentene, so 2-pentene right here. Oh, but there's an OH there, and the OH has priority. So we should start numbering on this side right here. All right, so I have carbon number one. Carbon number two has an OH and a hydrogen on both sides. Double bonded carbon, double bonded carbon, and a CH3. They're connected the same. I'm going to assign the absolute stereochemistry of my chiral center, which is right here. Oxygen, carbon, carbon, hydrogen. Oxygen gets one. Carbon, double, bond, uh, double bonded carbon gets two. The methyl over here gets three. And the hydrogen, which is in the back, gets four. Since the hydrogen is in the back, I have no trouble saying that this chiral center is the clockwise, the R stereoisomer. Okay, this one right here has the exact same groups. Oxygen gets one, carbon, carbon double bond, then the methyl, <clears throat> and then the hydrogen. But the hydrogen is pointing to the front, so I have to do the opposite of what my pen is doing. And my pen is going counterclockwise, which is S, but the hydrogen is in the front. So it's not S, it's the opposite of S, which is R. So again, these two molecules that I have right here, they are identical to each other because they're connected the same. The chiral center is the same, and the double bond is trans on both of those. Now, if you look at this one down here, I have, again, I have a pentene chain. Carbon number two has a halide. The double bond is different. This double bond that's on the left is trans. If you wanted to call it E, that's perfectly acceptable. If you look at this double bond right here. I have the two carbon groups on the same side of the double bond. They're on the bottom side of that double bond. So this one is cis, which is the same as saying Z. If you want to look at the chiral center, you can go ahead and look at the chiral center. Let's go ahead and as practice, let's assign what the chiral center is. So I have bromine, carbon-carbon double bond, methyl and the hydrogen is in the back so this one right here since the hydrogen is in the back I can directly assign that this is the R stereoisomer this one that's on the left side it has the hydrogen pointing to the front so when I go one two three one two three it's the opposite of what my pen is doing because the hydrogen is on the wedge I need to repeat that a lot so it's R, but hydrogen is in the front. So it's the opposite of R. Now, I know the chiral center is opposite now, but it doesn't matter because this molecules right here, because of the double bond, they will never be mirror images of each other. And if they're never mirror images of each other and they're connected the same, then we have to actually call them diastereomers. Cis and trans are diastereomers of each other.